waiting for your uh, potatoes to finish. They're still going nicely. I'm actually just going to turn it down a little bit so they don't start burning. Uh, the butternut squash, I'd say, have two more minutes. I like my butternut squash soup quite spicy. Not like blow your head off spicy, but um, I do like a little bit of heat there. Um, and especially with, you know, wanting to feel cozy and with the world feeling weird. A hot soup is always better when it gives you a little bit of snivels. I feel like that anyway. Anyway, uh, if not, you don't need to put it in. You're totally fine. So grab your knife. I'm gonna take the seeds out so it's not painfully spicy. What's, what cheese do I have here? I have serrano, Ooh, fresh peppers. Ooh. Any chili, just put any chili in. I mean, you could have even roasted some red chilies in, that would have been tasty. I'll do that next time. Just really finely. Chop up those chilies. Butternut squash out, they look really beautiful. So I'm gonna leave them to cool for a bit because I'm gonna have to touch them with my hands. So they have to cool quite a lot. And these are my lovely potatoes and sausage, and they are getting so nice and golden. Um, I don't mind the fact that they're all a little bit different. Uh, it's, you don't have to worry about them all being completely the same. So now I'm on to my garlics. I've chopped all my chili and I've left them on the corner of the board. Um, I've peeled my garlics, and I intend to put a little bit on my potatoes and um, a, a little bit of the fresh uh, garlic in my butternut squash soup. All of those garlics that I chopped up before and I put in the pan, I'm gonna take them now out of the shells when I'm ready, when that's cooled down, and they're gonna go in with the soup as well. So don't worry, we're not gonna waste anything. Uh, lots of my recipes are all to do with, well, they're not my recipes. I've copied them off someone or I've pretended they're mine and them actually my parents, but yeah. Lots of the things that I will always be cooking, I'm always trying to use as much of the stuff that I have in my fridge as possible. Or I'm trying to reuse an old vegetable or make sure that it gets the longest life possible in the fridge. I think it's really important. It cut me off. I was gonna say, I think it's really important to use um, all the things that were originally gonna be wasted. Uh, also makes it extra tasty. I've just turned the heat off. Um, that's gonna sit in the pan now until we serve up soup. It looks and smells. Looking delicious. All right, so uh, the butternut squash is finally cool enough to cool down. I mean, well, to work with. Ah, my brain. It's finally cool enough to work with, yay. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the skins off now and I'm gonna put all of the inside, the fleshy part of the butternut squash in here. I'm potentially gonna burn my fingertips because I think I'm gonna do this a little bit too soon, but you guys are waiting. And I know that you also want to see the end product. So I'm gonna burn myself for you. <laughs> Maybe not that bad. All right, I'll see you in a second. I moved it this way so that you can see everything a bit properly bit properly a bit better sorry I don't know why my brain is dead all right so we are gonna get a knife because this is useless where's my little knife okay okay so we're just gonna hold it and we're gonna go close to the edge please don't waste Get all of that goodness. See, it's breaking away in my hands. That is great. And that is how thin I want to see your skins, everyone. No waste. And then you just plonk that in there. It's quite therapeutic, actually. And again, ooh, she's crumbly. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Oh, this could take a while. Should I just see you in a bit? See you when it's done. Oh, Sorry, guys, that took longer than I thought it would. Um. 
I got to the end, this is my scraps. I'm gonna show you all of my bits of butternut squash in there. All these bits of garlic that I, I halved are so, here, I'm gonna show you, excuse my hands. They're so juicy and wet now, and you're just gonna put them straight in the pan, but take them out of, the, out of their skin first, obviously. Um, but those are the best bits. They're almost like savory sweeties. They're so soft. You put them straight in the pan. So something that I'm gonna do um, also to, to help the kind of blending process, either you can put these in a blender or you can use the hand blenders. I'm gonna use the hand blender today. There we go. So these are my pieces of butternut squash. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill up a jug with some vegetable stock. And that's just going to help keep that really nice and loose when I'm blending it. So it's not too tough for the blender to get through. Uh, the vegetable stock will obviously also add really lovely flavor. And it's, um, it's not too... It's not going to take over our flavors that we've made here. Okay. All right, so I've melted my vegetable stock in here and I've just, oh, there's a floater. <laughs> Any other pieces, just squash it with the back of a wooden spoon so that it's all melted. I'm also then gonna put my chilies and my garlic in. Just put the, uh, the, the stove on ever so slightly just because those butternut squashes have been out for a while um, and I didn't want the soup to be cold so I have put in the stock some of the garlic and the chilies now I've left this amount of garlic for the potatoes when I heat them back up I'm now going to plug this bad boy in and I'm going to blend the shit out of it it's such a satisfying sound. Um, if you have a big blender, you can put all of the butternut squash in there. That's something that we haven't quite added to the kitchen yet. Also, this is a bit easier. Maybe I should have done it in the big blender. I haven't. I just put it in here. And because of the liquid that I put in, it's making it really helpful to blend down. So I want it completely smooth. Um, if you want bits in it, then obviously don't blend it to complete smooth, but I like it smooth. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's good for the arms. Okay, I just tasted it. It tastes good. It tastes a little bit on the sweet end because we are working with a sweet uh, vegetable. So I am going to grab my salt and I'm going to salt it. Quite handsome grabs of salt. <laughs> He's starting to plop a bit. Then we're going to get some pepper. Um, yes, I do have a golden pepper grinder. My dad gave it to me as a birthday present because he knows that I love this one so well, much. I'm just gonna stir that up, stir, stir, stir. Constantly taste your food, it's really good too. I might put some of the Italian herb blend that I put in last time. It makes everything taste good, oregano, doesn't it? That tastes really good. Okay, I'm putting my potatoes back on the heat to heat them back up. They've been sat there getting cold for a while because I'm nearly ready to serve up. Um, I'm gonna put my garlic, my fresh, like I'd say clove and a half, um, in my potatoes so that they get an extra. Guys, we're at the final stages. So, get your bowl. Plop this in there. Mm. And this is your homemade butternut squash 
with potatoes and chorizo and then you're just going to pop those potatoes on the top potatoes and chorizo sorry sprinkle them on and this is what your bowl will look like in there we have butternut squash garlic onions with the potatoes chorizo with the potatoes a bit of rose